I know, it like... Oh, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Mr. Mr. Can you stop for me? I ain't got much besides this guitar Back away you'd find what else I want Then chugga that damn You hear a table saw starting? Welcome to another episode of building my first acoustic guitar with Showalter Guitars. We're building an Osage Orange back and side, Sycamore Top OM, and we're at the very home stretch. But I think today is the day that we finally glue on the bridge. And so we should be able to attach the neck and the bridge, and it will really, really look like a guitar. And then we enter into the home stretch of a lot of fret work. Now, along this, along the process of building this, you're gonna have questions. So when you do, make sure you comment down below and let me know for me or Steve, and we'll do an episode here coming up soon about about all the questions about thicknesses and radiuses and what glues we used and how things came together. But let's dig in. Showalter Guitars, it is a cold. It, like it's 31 degrees right now. <sighs> Can't see my breath. You see my breath the other day, but let's go see what Steve and Joyce are up to. Hey, Jeremy. How are you? Good. Good. Oh, another, another lap has occurred. Uh, it's amazing how like you can crank them out when you're when you're working at it. <laughs> cool. And Joyce, what are you up to? Yes, I am just organizing our lumber and kind of taking inventory. So this side is like all nice and labeled. Um, so and good. This kind of mirrors it. So these are like backs here and some tops and then um, sides right here. So man. So, cherry, mulberry, osage, orange, oak, sycamore, spruce, man. Black walnut and locust so as well. Cool. So, and yeah. this thing. Ooh. I saw this on your Instagram story. Yep. Uh -huh. We are wanting to do something really special with that. And that would be so cool. Hopefully have a guy that wants us to do a custom build with that. So. Yeah. That's man, the live edge is so cool. Yeah. So, I got to finish on that too. That's so cool. Oh, Ooh. man. <laughs> This is the first I've held it. So <laughs> okay, yeah. But man. Yeah, it looks so good. Mm. The top. And it's still really light. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited. Yeah. Oh, and that Virginia piece right there. Oh, that looks so good. That is so cool. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> it's ready. It's ready to become a guitar. <laughs> cool. And then the next hanging over here. Oh, yeah. Sorry. No, no, you're good. You're good. I've done worse. Oh, oh my goodness. It looks great on camera too. Like I feel like your camera really captures it well. So nice. And that headstock. Oh, wow. So nice. Well, I want to glue this on. So you got to take off your okay. masking. And then, uh, and then you gotta work on the frets. Okay. And then we'll glue the neck on. Okay. So you do frets before the neck is on. Yeah. Cool. Why not? Yeah. All right. Well, it sounds like I mean that's some good marching orders for for the next couple hours. Let's yep. get into it. Yeah. This is the bridge clamp. Uh, this this part goes in underneath the uh, peg board, and then this clamps down on it. Okay. And so we have the pilot holes. And so that's what. No, the pilot holes are. are uh, I use these nails. That holds it in place. Mm -hmm. 
I like to get uh, a little bit of sandpaper and go cross grain to give it a little more grip. using one to poke through from the front. Yeah, yeah. And then you stick this on there to hold it so you don't lose it. Okay. All right, so what I do is kind of hold your fingers on the bottom of those screws or we lose them. Okay. But you got to take this off. And then they go through here. Yeah, and so I tried on dry fit mm -hmm. first before we put the glue on it. <laughs> yep, and so I just make sure we got solid connection everywhere. There's a little hair cra hairline mm -hmm. uh, crack right there, and then it gets tight, and then it comes back out to a little hairline crack okay, right so here. So we need to uh, take off a little bit of material on okay. this corner. Before you do too much, you want to test it. You don't want to be yeah. uh, get too much off. Now, I want to say we're ready for glue, but but you know uh, better. Well, the one thing that I do like to do is take a little lacquer thinner and scrub off, Okay. especially on this, but I, I, I would a little here too. That just takes out, if there's any, like some wood has a, a sap in it that doesn't stick to the glue very good. But it's very important not to touch uh, this lacquer thinner to that that lacquer finish because it would dissolve that lacquer you know in that sense maybe acetone would be a better choice i don't know i've never actually thought about that mm. um it's really almost a two-man job i do it all the time by myself <laughs> but you probably need help so uh what i have you do is uh hold the screws up and uh these nails need to come out. They'll go down through both uh, items. And then uh, we want the red glue. If you ever wanted to, if, if one of these ever starts to come off, you have to finish getting it off okay. by steaming. And this glue makes that possible. Are you worried about squeeze out? Oh, we'll get squeeze out. We okay. want squeeze out. Uh, hopefully we can get it all cleaned off. Hmm, I'm not getting squeeze out over here. Or here. We need to... Get some more glue. Now you know you're getting your finger mm -hmm. and the glue. I'm fine with this glue. Yeah, but uh, I, I don't want it smearing okay. over the guitar. 
Now, can you thread it on there? Yeah. Get that on down. And this uh, glue wants to keep on coming out. Okay. <laughs> that like doesn't fit in there very nice because it's all ill-shaped. Uh, this unmatched. But yeah. Oh. Yeah. That is gorgeous. That's gorgeous, but look at this thing. <laughs> yeah. That is a potato chip. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Look at that. oh, yeah, look at that. Do you need one on the other side? I think so. Too. Yeah. Okay, so I've been, we just had a couple minutes break between where I'd been getting the squeeze out. And then I went out, and when I came back in, there's just a tiny little hairline gap. And so, thankfully, these long clamps are able to get that stretch. And we get some more squeeze out. I guess, more to clean out. Okay, that's good. I'll take clean out with a clean, the clean glue joint. Wow, that's a lot of glue squeeze out on that one. But now, um, I'd like to get one here on the back side too. So it looks like it could wow. use a little there. This is going to be an easy uh, one. So you're looking at your, uh, you start here, and this is, you're touching, touching down on the length of the, this little rule. Uh, uh, these first four frets, uh, they're pretty good. Might need a little bit of file in there. Uh, but number, uh, I slid on up here. And number five is definitely needing some bringing down with this guy right here. This is the same shape as the top of the frets. And so you can file it as needed. And then we just, we'll just keep checking with this until you get it all. Mm -hmm. And if, uh, before you start, you want, you want, you want to adjust the truss rod to get a good straight actually it does have just a hair of a hump but uh it the yeah. strings is gonna almost pull that out till you tighten mm -hmm. up to tune up to pitch Okay. It's yeah. just like the luckiest it could be. Yeah. Hmm. So, this can make you feel like, uh, <laughs> I put an awful lot of work into nothing. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, so, yeah. so now you're, you're down to smoothing and polishing. Okay, good. Yeah, what I do is, uh, I just, I use this to cover. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, you know, you got. I've seen two it. Yeah, options. so like in the electric guitar world, if you have a maple fingerboard that's finished, mm -hmm. you'll just tape off each one. Yeah. So I can, I can do that. Yeah. Um, it just gets to be a pain down here at the tighter ones. But, okay. Yeah. So, well, Joyce, could you come over here for a second and just give me? Okay. So, because also do explain to them. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so it's taped off. Yep. Then I have the guard. Yeah. And then I go here and I just yep. yes. smooth the whole thing yes. over. And something that I'm like always tempted to do is like I will kind of like if you don't mind, I like do this a lot because it cuts through fat. Like I tip it up, mm -hmm. but try to keep it like as level as possible. Okay. Um, but then of course like you can feel the radius, so obviously go with the radius. Okay. Um so once you go over it with this like one like 150, I don't know if the camera mm -hmm. can see, like 150, and then it has like a, a 300. Um, so basically this is like a finer, I mean, oh, so you, you can, can see, turn it. then you pull it out and, and then it's just as simple oh, as flipping it. That's awesome. Isn't it I nice? Yeah. That. And so, um, I would do 150, 300, like, yeah. I would go ahead so you don't have to move the tape. I would yeah. do 300, or I'm sorry, 150, 150 300. 300, and you could even do, um, 
like 400 with sandpaper. sandpaper. Okay. And then steel and wool. Steel wool. So okay. it's up to you if you want to do 150, yeah. 300, like do yeah. it however you want. But okay. that's, yeah. The frets were an incredible amount of work, so I got two frets done. I'll have to finish that tomorrow, but that's the end of this episode because in this episode, we I was working on the frets and the neck, and we also glued the bridge onto the body, and uh, it is really coming together. I think we're coming down to the last work day. Like, it could be done tomorrow if we can put in a long day. Worst case, it would be two more days. But anyway, we are rounding the very end. So I'm Jeremy. Over there, Steve and Joyce. And uh, this is Showalter Guitars. So um, we had somebody come by this morning while we were filming to check out some guitars. So if that's you, if you want to come hang out, see the room full of guitars over there, come do it in Linville, Virginia. So, all right, all the uh, contact info in the description down below. Uh, my arm is sore. All right, bye guys, see you later. Oh, the camera wasn't on. Okay, the whole time. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so. For Holler in the hills of Appalachia, no, sir, you wouldn't know the name But it's prettier than heaven And where I'm at the world And where